I just needed to sit down and like take a second because it was a lot to handle. Day 19. Day 30. Day 52. Day 75. I don't want the challenge to end actually. Jabo friends, hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shannon, if you're new here, and if you're not new, hi, welcome back, nice to see you. Today we're gonna be doing something that you haven't seen anything like before on my channel. This video is gonna be documenting my journey through 75 hard, and 75 hard is a mental toughness challenge. It is 75 days long. Today is April 8th. I will be ending June 22nd, hopefully. And you have to do five things every day that are mandatory. And if you miss one, you need to start over from day one. And those five things are gonna be drinking a gallon of water every day, taking a progress picture of yourself every day, doing two workouts. One is outside, mandatory 45 minute workout, rain, snow, shine, doesn't matter, mandatory outside. The other one can be inside or also outside, but that one is whatever you want. And you also have to follow a diet. Basically, this part of the challenge is really up to you. So I'm gonna be following a healthy diet, and I don't wanna use the term diet because I don't really like it, but in terms of healthy, I'm just gonna be eating more whole foods. I have been on many diets before. Um, I have counted my macros. I have done everything like that. So, I mean, you can really do whatever you want if you decide to do this as well. You, just as long as you're following a diet, you're not allowed to have any alcohol, and you're not allowed to have any sweet or junk food, like chips, sodas, anything like that. I strictly only drink water anyway so I don't really think that's gonna be a big problem for me I just want to feel as healthy as possible not only my body but also my mind so hopefully this is gonna do that for me with starting I have this chart and the chart just basically has a list of everything you need to do each day and check them off when you're done so you don't forget about anything I also have my 64 ounce water bottle I will link this down below it's from Amazon it was around $22 and I have the first fiction book that I'll be reading I'm just gonna do check-ins here and there so you're gonna see me pop in and see what I'm doing and see how it's going so I'll see you soon it is like day 19 of my 75 days it's not that bad once you're out you realize like hey I'm the only person out I'm the only person trying to achieve my goals I'm doing what I said I was gonna do but not every day is gonna be perfect and like it's the same way with a challenge not every day the weather is gonna cooperate for you you're living on the earth the earth is not living for you so gotta deal with it no excuses I'll get it done <laughs> Yes, this is what I look like after I go for a run. Day 25 of 75 hard. So I'm one third of the way there. How's it going? It's going. Although I have not seen any change on the scale yet, I definitely feel a lot better, like just mentally and physically. And I actually just listened to Andy Frisella's podcast. I'll link that down below. That is the guy who developed 75 hard because he just said something that I thought was really important. He said, if you tried this challenge and you stopped on day 21, day 40, you're gonna be upset at yourself and I completely believe that I just wanted to update you guys It's a day 30 of my 75 hard. I'm ready to kill today. Have a good workout go for a run I did end up filming the other day a day in my life doing 75 hard Make sure you check that out. That'll be up in a little while after this video and today I'm actually gonna be doing a product review of the Alani new supplements I've been using every day on my program one month in 45 more days to go Today marks 30 days until I'm done with 75 hard. So this morning I woke up in a great mood. So I decided I'm gonna have myself a run. I normally only run one mile and then I stop and get my life together and I'll continue running. I ended up running three miles without stopping. I don't know what I thought. Maybe I thought I couldn't do, but in high school I used to run all the way to here and back to my house with like no problems. I guess I just gotta keep working to that. One thing's changed. I guess I've gotten a little bit more stamina. Day 49. It's day 52 and I just ran 4.25 miles. My goal for the end of the summer was to run five miles without stopping. Maybe I should make it for the end of this challenge. Hello, day 53. I did not want to work out today at all, but I did it. Day 53, I think. My goal challenge was to be able to run five miles without stopping. And I just ran 5.25 without stopping. And I swear to God, if I didn't have mental toughness, I would have never been able to do that. I hit my goal within two weeks. Good morning, everybody. It is day 56, it is June 2nd, and I just figured I'd give you a little body update, like how I'm looking. Uh, also just got back from a run, I did five 0.55 miles every day is a new day to keep hitting your goals. This is how I'm looking day 56. I don't know. I don't know if I see much difference, but 
there is how I'm looking. Hey everybody, it's day 57, I'm pretty sure, and we're having a storm right now, and I'm out walking. And you know what, I don't know why I'm in like a great mood, but we're supposed to have like hurricane winds and things. I'm gonna enjoy this one. Hi everybody, day 58, and I just wanted to update you guys. I'm pretty sure I have an injury. This makes sense because uh, 75 hard is overtraining for sure if you're uh, taking it hard every workout. I hurt my knee. I'm not really sure how, I guess, from running. I did add on a lot of miles in a short amount of time so mental toughness over physical toughness check so right now i'm just gonna take it slow i'm gonna walk only for my outside cardio i'm really bummed out about it to be completely honest with you i was really in my running groove and i was excited to keep going it's day 61 and i just finished another book and i have 14 more days left and i don't want this challenge to end i'm having a really great time i'm about to go work out 14 days to go i just woke up and you'll never guess what day it is it is day 75 today today's my last full day of the challenge and i cannot even believe that i've made it this far i'm super excited about today i'm ready to go kill it i will see you guys tomorrow to recap everything and also most likely eat a pizza first off Hi, it's been 75 days and I seriously can't even believe that I did this. I just wanted to go over quickly, recap everything that's happened and kind of tell you guys how I'm feeling now. Well, first off, let me go get something. All of these pages are full. I'm gonna show you guys my before and after measurements. I ended up losing six pounds and 11 inches. So I know that doesn't sound like a lot to many, but it actually is a really big deal because of the fact that I saw a lot of non-scale victories. Most of those being my endurance, my strength, my body looks completely different. It's the day after my challenge. Ignore the sunburn, but I'm gonna show you my after. And my body composition, in my opinion, did change. Before this challenge, I did do a body scan. I'm going to show you this right here. And this just shows my body fat percentage was at like 32. I need to go get another one done. But I think that a lot has changed. I'll show you guys the measurements right here. You can see the difference. You can see where I lost. I'm just going to try to explain to you guys what I'm going to do after 75 hard to make sure that all of these things that I've done are sustainable. Right, I'm going to have one cheat meal a week. This is not a cheat day. This is a cheat meal. It's also something to look forward to, you know, like a little bit of fun, go out and socialize. You can eat whatever you want. Sounds pretty good to me. After I finish the book that I'm currently reading that's nonfiction, I'm going to switch over to doing fiction books. I'm going to keep drinking my gallon of water because honestly, stay hydrated people. It helps so much. I'm going to be doing progress pictures once a week instead of every day. And I'm going to work out once a day for at least 30 minutes or more. It's really whatever I want to do just as long as I'm being active once a day for at least 30 minutes. I'm also not going to have any restrictions on alcohol because... I really don't drink as it is, so I thought that that was a little bit stupid. I just want to talk about how I feel. So, did I think I was going to be able to run over five and a half miles by the end of this? Absolutely not. I didn't even think I was going to run over one, and I still did it. It is really mind over matter. And I know that sounds so cliche, but it truly, truly is. The last week and a half or so have been like really difficult for me and I've really been trying to stay on track but I made sure to do everything that I had to do even if it was not wholeheartedly. I still got it done. And I think that's the power of this. You can still get it done. It's in your mind. You are the one who's doing it. You are the one who needs to get it done. It's up to you. No one else can do this for you. And one of the things that I learned from this is motivation. I had to self-motivate a lot and I really was so tired tired of doing two workouts a day like it was getting exhausting um but you know what i still did it and i still pushed through you guys can do it too and i wanted to help you guys start out so i thought what a better way to help someone get into their goals by doing a giveaway so i'm going to be gifting a 25 dollars gift card to amazon and also the subtle art of not giving a book so in order to win this giveaway there's just a few rules I hope that this will jumpstart someone's journey to learning confidence and being motivated and learning that you can do anything because that is really what this challenge showed me. I can do anything I want. 
And I'll bring you guys along with me later, but I'm having a huge pizza today because I don't care. I will link everything um, about 75 hard down in the description below along with these papers so that you guys can be able to fill out the checklist through the days if you decide to do 75 hard as well. Thank you guys so much for following me along these past 75 days. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I know I enjoyed making it. And if you guys wanna see more like this, just comment down below and give me some suggestions. If you like this, make sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that big red subscribe button and don't forget to enter the giveaway. I will see you guys in the next one. Um, I, was gonna... I waited 75 days for this.